What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. Today is Sunday, December 18th, which means it's the last day of the Charizard raid battle event. However, that doesn't mean that it has to be the last day that you're able to farm the items that you get after beating the raids, which if you're not farming these items, what are you doing? These items are literally amazing. You can either sell them and make a ton of money or use them to build the team. So today I'll be showing you how you can keep these Charizard raids on your map indefinitely and farm the raids for items to your heart's content. So if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe because it helps you grow out and give this video a thumbs up if you are a Pokemon fan so we can push it out into the YouTube algorithm so that more Pokemon fans can see it. And if you would like another way to support the channel, please feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis and cop one of my cool sweatshirts. And with the holidays literally just around the corner, if you are still looking for a copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for yourself or for a loved one, I have linked them on my Amazon storefront, which is down below as well. But let's go ahead and hop into how you can farm your Charizard raids indefinitely. Bye. 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 So as I'm sure most of you know, in order to get your Charizard raids to show up on your map, you do have to be in the post game and you have to complete certain post game events that allow you to unlock six star Black Crystal Terror Raid, since Charizard is a seven star Black Crystal Terror Raid. But once you have reached that point, all you have to do is head over to Mystery Gift on your Poke Portal, and you're gonna go down to check Poke Portal News and it's gonna connect you to the internet. And it's literally just gonna give you a little message that says that you're updated to the latest events. I'm not gonna do that for the purposes of this video because I already connected to the internet. so. I don't really have a need to do that. And I can go ahead and look at my map and see that I am right next to a Charizard raid, which in case you didn't know, the Charizard raids are dragon terror types. So just look for a little dragon terror symbol that has like a purpley glow around it because all of the event raids, kind of like this one over here, are gonna have a glow around them. But once you have your Charizard raids show up on your map, the way that you're gonna be able to farm these indefinitely until you're basically done farming however many items you want is you're not gonna connect to the internet. So do not connect to the internet because otherwise these raids will update and disappear after the event ends. If you wanna keep farming them, you're gonna want to not connect to the internet until you are satisfied with how much you have currently farmed. And if you really wanna maximize your profits while you're farming these raids, you're gonna wanna go ahead and make a sandwich that gives you raid power level one or level two, depending on what kind of ingredients you have on hand. I did make a video recently that showed a bunch of different sandwich recipes. So I'll go ahead and link that one in the eye so that you can have the guide that I used in order to make my level two raid sandwiches. But for today, because I actually didn't have any avocado before I started filming this video, I made a level one raid power sandwich, which I have raid power dragon, because as we know, the Charizards are dragon terror type. So now that we have our sandwich, either level one or level two, level two is just gonna be more ideal if you do have the proper ingredients, because it's gonna give you two extra drops at the end of the raid, I'm only gonna get one extra drop. However, you can farm these raids indefinitely. So at the end of the day, if you don't have enough ingredients to make a level two sandwich and you only have enough for a level one, you can still farm them for as long as you need in order to get as many items as you need. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this Charizard raid by myself. I'm using Fluttermane, which I already did a video on my Fluttermane build, which will help you solo these raids ASAP so that you can get as many done in the 30 minutes that your sandwich is gonna be active as possible. So let me go ahead and beat this battle and I'll show you what the actual drops look like after we finish the raid. Okay, so I just went ahead and I beat the Charizard raid. So let's take a look and see what our drops are looking like. So as you can see, we already have a ton of large experience candies, which are super important if you're trying to build up a team quickly. So we have six large experience candy, four extra large. We have five calciums, a ton of dragon terror shards, which you can also sell them if you don't need them to change the terror type of one of your Pokemon. More large experience candies, a nugget, which you can also sell, rare candies, more shards, more experience candies, bottle caps, PP up so you get a bunch of vitamins out of this as well and more experience candies. So as you can see, there's a lot of items here that you can either use to level up your team that you are trying to build or a bunch of items that you can sell. But obviously after you beat a raid, it disappears. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna exit your game. You're gonna go to your switch settings, system settings here. You're not gonna close out the game, you don't have to. Go to system and then scroll over to date and time and we're just gonna skip one day forward. Wow, it says that it's literally Christmas day on my switch. Okay, so I went ahead and skipped forward to the 26th and we can go ahead and re-enter the game now and we're seeing that the pokemon from the outbreaks have disappeared mass outbreaks are occurring so our game is updating and we should have a new charizard raid on our map i just need to find it okay so i did go ahead and find my other charizard raid it is here next to alfornada so let's go ahead and run over to that and you can literally just keep doing this as long as you need as long as you want and just keep doing raids until you have enough items 
for your needs. So here's another one, brand new one for me. And you, as you can see, it's another Charizard raid. But let me show you how much things go for in the store, just so you can get a quick idea of how much money you can actually make if you farm enough of these raids. So I'm gonna run over here to the Pokemart and we're gonna see how much some of this stuff sells for. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop over to our items here. So if you do wanna sell some extra vitamins that you have, each one sells for $2,500. And if you wanna sell your ability capsules, which you can also get from the Charizard raids, they sell for $25,000 each. And ability patches, which you can also get from these raids, sell for $125. 5,000. So just one of these ability patches will get you a ton of money. Not to mention, we also got a bunch of nuggets out of that, which nuggets sell for $5,000 each. You can also get star pieces from these raids. So you can get a ton of different items that can give you a lot of money, especially if you're doing multiple of these raids a day. And don't forget to check how many Terra Shards you have. Like, look at how many Dragon Terra Shards I have. I have 457 of them. I don't think I would ever need 457 Dragon Terra Shards, but I have them. And if I don't end up using all of them, I can always sell them for $500 a piece. So if you farm these raids right and you use your sandwiches to boost your raid power to either level one or level two, you will never have an issue with money ever again. And you can obviously use this little exploit on any other event raids that do have good drops. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys.